Hi everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie, if you're new here. So today I'm gonna to share what I got on my Ruby's Pantry pickup. So when I went today, I ended up going to the wrong location and I had to redirect and go to the other one. So it was about 30 minutes to the first one and then another 30 minutes to the other one. So I kind of messed up, but when I got the notification, I thought it was in the, the one that I usually go to and it wasn't so if you ever did the ruby's pantry you go there and you um sit in line for a period of time and then when it's your turn then you'll drive up and get your stuff so when we got there we were on like the second row to be able to go and pick up our stuff so it wasn't as bad as i thought it was going to be because any other time that i go i kind of go earlier and then in hopes to get in the line quicker um, but because we were late, so usually it starts at like 4.30 to pick up everything and we didn't get there till after five o'clock, but it was okay. So I was able to get a couple extra things that they needed to just get rid of at the end. So may maybe it's better for me to just go at the end versus in the beginning. So I'm not quite sure. Another thing with Ruby's Pantry, they will go around and they will write down prayer request because it's at a church. A lot of these are held at churches. The food is donated to them. And then you pay $25 per share. There is no limit to um, what you can get or how many that you want to buy, like how many shares. And they don't go by income. So it doesn't matter what you know, what you want to get for the shares. So sometimes I'll get one, sometimes I'll get two. It all depends on what I want to do at that time. This one wasn't as good as the last, not the last one, the one before, but that's okay. So it's nice to see what you all get. And then um, the kids really like to see what we get. And there's always like little surprise things in there, um, drinks and different things that we like to see. And I had a lot of comments on my other Ruby's pickups um some people were wondering where the locations are so if you go to rubiespantry.com you can put your location in or what state you're in and then it'll share with you if your state has them so i know wisconsin does maybe illinois or ohio i'm not quite sure but there's a couple different states that it'll have I also have had comments where people are wondering if the, if I knew or if there's other areas that people can go to like food pantries. So I know Salvation Army is a place that you can go to, at least it is around here. I have not been to one, so I'm not quite sure how it works, but you can go to, I'm trying to think. So we have another area that I have not gone to, but I've heard other people go to. So it's like, Grow It Forward is what it's called around here. And what it is is they'll have produce and different things like milk and dairy and maybe some meats. And that is all like donations. That you do not have to pay for. You can just go and pick it up. So what you need to do is look up local um, food banks or local food um, distributors that will do that kind of thing if you just look in your local area a lot of places will mention that i'm not sure a lot of it because i don't do any of that but we just mainly go to the rubies um, for the pickup orders so this has been around for a period of time um, if i can i'll put a little clip in right here and i'll explain what ruby's pantry is and what it stands for all right so this is a lady that was the one that started Ruby's Pantry. Her name is Ruby, and she has a whole thing on the Ruby's Pantry site if you guys want to go back and read her story. It's really cool. She, it says in the article that she would grow her own garden with the little money that she had to start a garden, and she would donate some of her um, vegetables and stuff to uh, different people, even like fruit, I think it said on there. Uh, and then she also stated that she knew a lady that lived down the way that had like four kids and have 
food or money for food. So she gathered a bunch of her own food and brought it down to that lady. And ever since then, that was something that she liked to to do. And this is what this program is all about. All right, if you go up to the top part of their website, you can go into different sections. And this is what it says. What is Ruby's Pantry? Uh, it is a place that gathers at different churches and different locations, and they are ones to distribute the food. You do not need to sign up for any of it to be able to get food. The locations are Minnesota, Wisconsin, and North Dakota, and Iowa. It's a little backstory on what Ruby's Pantry stands for. So let me just share with you guys what I got on this Ruby's Pantry. I don't know if I'm going to do another one this month or not, but I will be having my grocery video coming up soon. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it this month, if I'm going to do it once a month or if I'm going to do weekly ones, just because we had some stuff going on and I don't know if I can do the once a month yet. But let's turn you guys around and I'll share everything that I got today. This is everything that I got in my Ruby's Pantry pickup. So I paid $25 for this share. You can pick up as many shares as you want. So some people will do three shares. Some people will do one or two, whatever. It doesn't matter. We usually get these ice creams every time that we go to the pantries. So we got three boxes. So six, eight packs of them. So that's exciting. The kids like them. I did get two packs of the 12 taco shells two mustards so two yellow mustards two creamers spicy mustard two of them and two Dijon mustards these will go out in our pantry that we have out in the garage uh, I did get these cheese crackers spicy cheddar it always seems that we get the spicy stuff for some reason I did get a bunch of these flaming hot Cheetos so we got one two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them. And last time we got smaller bags of these spicy Doritos. Um, so we got two of the medium sized bags. I did get four things of chocolate chip cookies. And on the way home, some of the kids had some of them. Breakfast bars, that's what they called them. Go Marco, Everlasting Joy, coconut, almond butter, and chocolate chips. These are organic, vegan, and gluten free. We got a bunch of them, so that's pretty cool. Sometimes we get granola bars. It all depends on what the pickup is. So this is what I got. I did get a thing of vanilla coffee, iced coffee latte. No. Two things of chicken. Usually I'll get chicken fingers or chicken nuggets, and we got chicken breasts, so that is awesome. Um, I'm probably gonna make some of this, possibly tonight. Do you guys want chicken tonight? Maybe I'll make some chicken. No chicken? I don't know. So we'll make that for something. They get two things of lactose-free milk. Four of these Wild Wonder uh, little tomatoes. Some broccoli and cauliflower. And then I got six cans of the mixed vegetables. A lot of this stuff will just go in our pantry that we have out in the garage. I'll leave a list or I'll leave um, my playlist to my pantries out in the garage. You guys can go back and see what we all save and stuff. I did get a big can of pudding, butterscotch pudding. I'll figure something out with that. And then we got this white chocolate cafe powder created for espresso and other drinks. So I'm not quite sure how to use this, but it does have a recipe on the back. What else did I get? Um, I did get some toaster or pop tarts, thing of that but you get a bunch of stuff when you go through it and you never know what you're gonna get depending on what uh, location you go to all right so that is everything that I want to share with you guys today on this little Ruby's pantry haul hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video I will leave the link to Ruby's pantry down below and you guys can check it out for yourself if you live in Wisconsin you might be able to pick up some stuff um at ruby's or if they'll have it in your location so if you look up your zip code to your area uh it'll pull up the local area so they'll give you a couple of options i have ones that are like 20 minutes away 30 some minutes away and like 40 minutes away i also have to use the town next to us because the town that we live in is a little bit smaller and it's harder to pick up good locations, if that helps. So if you just go on there, 
Look it up, see if you guys have a Rubies near you. It's only $25 per share, and you get about $100 worth of food items. So it's pretty cool. But that is it for today. So if you want to check out some of my other Rubies Pantry uh, videos, I will leave that down below, and you guys can go back and check them out. But that is it for today. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.